shiver with a fell night. Didn't deliver. It was a good episode. It, it, it's one of those episodes that kind of just sets up the next episode. So really, it's that kind of episode. So you know, you know what you're going to get into. It's going to set up the next episode, the next fight, and all that jazz. But we do get ourselves some fan service, which isn't the worst of all things. But it was in the weirdest situation in the world. But Icky's hands. Icky's hands are the hands of God, apparently. I just... Just want to put it out there. He has really nice hands and quite big and bulky hands. But no, this episode was really good. They did set up the characters. They introduced Ayase, which is a new, I guess, harem to Icky's harem. And basically, yeah. She isn't what she seems. She's actually, she's actually a yandere. I mean, it's going towards that area. I mean, you can see in her eyes, she's a yandere. Her, she has... I didn't trust her. You know, at the end, when the last steal, which is her face. Again. I was just like... Don't trust her. Her boots are too big. Don't trust her. But nah, I mean, the character herself, she's interesting. She's conventional. She isn't like something extra out of the ordinary, but she's conventional, but she's interesting. That's all I say. Because a father who's this kind of big ass man who's this famous dude, but basically she wants to be like him. And that's her downfall. She wants to imit imitate her father, which is basically what she can't do. She has to go and do her own thing. And Icky's there to train her to be that person. And I like the fact that now that they're using Icky as kind of this teacher in a way. Like, he's this one that came from absolutely nothing, and then now he's a teacher. I kind of like that idea. I like Icky as a character as well, because Icky as a character is kind of this... He's a really, really out-of-the-ordinary harem character. He's just... He's completely normal. Like, he's the most normal harem character I've ever seen in my lifetime. He's really nice to Stella. He's just like, I'm gonna like you, baby. And he's like, your ass is mine. I'm only mine. And he's just like... And she's like... And yeah, I mean, he's he's just... He's an all-round good character. He's the kind of guy I want to aspire to be. He's just really nice to people. He's like, I touch you anywhere, but you still want my girl. But, God. Yeah, this anime is pretty... It's pretty heavy, I'd say. Sometimes it does it does venture into dark, dank places, but it doesn't ever let up with the humor as well. The humor does actually work. Shizuku and Stella's kind of banter between each other it makes me laugh a lot because they both want the exact same guy and they kind of just like completely insult each other constantly, and it's hilarious in that own regard. I just love it. But yeah, hopefully it does venture into further further parts and maybe you might see more fights because always the fights. Oh, at the beginning of the episode in five seconds, so we don't really see very much. The only one we ever seen was the f episode three, and then that was it. But hopefully we get to see more fights next episode. It will be that fight. But with all that said, I have been the driver, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.